Hello to all. Primary libraries have been known for their wide range of feature set, many components to choose from and so on. And lately we have uh, reached to more than 140 million downloads milestone. But if we consider the competition, we just realized that many other libraries lack majority of our features, but their download numbers are higher. So we have realized that uh, that's probably because of their styling, their presentation, um, customization, flexibility. So that's why we have been recently uh, focused on uh, improving the flexibility of our components. And for example, if you consider Prime View, which is our first Avenger, the, the others are catching up uh, with unstyled mode and things like that. So, on. so lately we have introduced the unstyled mode, right? It allows you to use the primary libraries. You can just ignore the default styles. They are not included on the page. And then you can use your favorite CSS library like Tailwind, Bootstrap, Bulma, any other thing. So once we realize that, uh, by the way, videos are coming uh, for, for as, as tutorials for each of them soon. But uh, today I'd like to show you how you can um, use uh, another skin from another library uh, to use uh, that with the prime dialog. So you know that you already have the bootstrap and material in styled mode, uh, these ones, but they are uh, mostly for styled versions. So with unstyled, uh, we suggest using PrimeFlex or Tailwind or any other CSS library. That's what um, there's a trend towards in most in the React ecosystem. And there's a Shatsian, I'm, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Shatsian is based on Redix UI. So it's not a complete UI library. It uses, it's a wrapper. Uh, if I understand correctly, it's a wrapper on top of Redix UI and their feature set are quite limited to Prime, but download numbers are higher compared to Prime React. So I think that the direction we have took, uh, we've taken is, I think it's correct and that's the way to go because we already have the wide range of feature set and once we can come up with this styling and flexibility it will be one of the most powerful ui libraries for for react and view and angular corresponding so if you check out the chat scene for example that's the light mode there's the dialogue and it's based on this this is the dark mode and i will switch to light all right, so here's the dialog stuff, uh, many internal components, and it uses Redix and it provides the built-in tailwind classes, which you can already do with prime views on style mode. So to see as a proof of concept, to see I've started this and my friend and colleague Atakan just uh, have done the final touches. So uh, let's see if we can use the skin to prime view dialog because the, the main idea is that you should not just switch libraries based on style. It should be the features. The styling is just, you can, you should be able to apply any style, right? It should be the features, not the style. That's uh, where the prime UI libraries excel, but not, it was not in the past with styling. So I think we are, uh, we have greatly improved that check. So I created a stack blitz that we will uh, go through. So here's my uh, dialogue and here's my button. So I think it should look more or less the same. So this is the chat scan. Let's, let's open this one as well. With some minor differences that we can just figure out, I think it's more or less the same. And if you check out the dark mode, And that's so this is a prime view dialog so you get all the features of the prime view dialog that is not available in in other library that the skin was based on so um so like dynamic dialogues and dragging dropping everything it's just just not like a skin so how we can do it um we i will be introducing a detailed tutorial on the tailwind integration by the way we are working on some important update that will just uh, i think blow your mind so we have the tailwind config. Let's make sure that prime view is scanned as well. Um, and the part here, the important part here is the prime view configuration. We are saying prime view app is the plugin and this should be unstyled. As you know, with the PT, you can style buttons, inputs, dialogues, everything. And if you just consider the main difference here with Redix, you have, you have to, put all this stuff in your template. And I think with the dialog, it, it's okay. But for even at first input switch, you have the handle and things like that. For slider, you have the 
base bar and I cannot think of the table I mean prime table is just it has almost everything you probably need and I'm not sure the template size of this so instead we have taken a programmatic approach still you can access these parts as I mentioned here if you check out the overlay dialog So you have, yeah, this is the wireframe and this is the main content. By the way, uh, we will be introducing a container slot so that you can just ignore all this and uh, you can provide your own content. So many of the components are going beyond unstuff and they are going headless uh, in, the, in the upcoming releases. So that's just a side note. So here we have the content and you can easily customize these parts. And if you check out how we have done it for, for, for this part, we have the dialogue and all the stuff. Uh, by the way, we have taken some of the parts from Shadsian to make it exactly like it. And that's it. You can also use uh, Tailwind transitions for the animations. You can customize almost everything. And if we check out the component, here we have the dialogue. We model visible, the button checks visible as true. This is a model. So here you get all the features. Assume that, I mean, the, the other libraries I mentioned are, can, are, are nowhere near regarding, for example, table. But uh, with this support, you can use your table and you can uh, style a table as, 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 as you like. So here, the labels, inputs, these are all tailwind classes and you can also, for the nice thing about it is that you can style a certain button like this or put it on the PT and it will be globally. So more on that documentation later when we cover Tailwind and so on. So the idea of this video is that uh, to give you uh, an idea of how you can use another component library skin uh, using the pass-through and as a as a prime library theme because with the prime let's say prime use on start mode you know prime libraries have their on start mode it removes all the default themes and you can just plug in your own skin and i'm really uh, expecting the prime community to step up and provide presets which i call them for example we have the tailwind presets for prime one design and we are expecting the community to step up and provide presets for their own design and you know, there's a trend for, for example, I've seen a tweet about uh, there is a community work on porting Shadsian Redix to, to, from React to Vue. And they're saying that Vue is always trying to catch up with React. And I'm not really sure that's the case now. I mean, this is, this, I made a tweet about it as the tables have turned. Now it's React's turn. And probably, by the way, Prime React is also trying to catch up with Prime So that's, my, that was my point of view as well. So it's good to have options. There are many UI libraries in, in the ecosystem, but my point is it should, the features are, are, should be the most valuable and the skinning should be uh, independent of the features. And uh, that's what we are trying to achieve. And then in the upcoming releases, things will be improved because we are learning, getting feedback and it will be very, very powerful in the near future. For example, with the uh, the next release we are pushing an important update as I mentioned that so, so that you can easily customize primary colors and surfaces in the default Tailwind theme. You, if you check out the Tailwind part here, you can see that Prime UI libraries have their Tailwind built in which implement the Prime 1 design. So if you have your own design system, you need to customize it. This was a proof of concept and which is actually production ready, but it currently misses customization options like changing the primary color and surfaces, which is also coming up. And we are, uh, since we cannot fit every feature in this, we are, we will be providing a new showcase for Tailwind and PrimeFlex in the future as well. Tailwind.primeu.org, for example, where you can see all the components in their Tailwind skin and you will be able to customize it with primary color surfaces, dark modes, dim modes, and so on. And there will be a playground as well. So uh, that's also being worked on right now. And it's one of the greatest updates. I think it will be one of the greatest updates that we will provide. So uh, that's it. And hopefully uh, you will you, 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 uh, like the video and uh, see you on the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.